This video is proudly sponsored by Cameron Hoskin TV, one of the young artists at the forefront of British rising talent. Cameron covers the latest songs with a blend of some of his favourite classic pop tracks and even releases some originals sometimes. Cameron is working towards releasing his debut album, so what are you waiting for? There's lots to find out and lots to discover, so head straight over to his channel after this video to help support his singing dreams for the future. Check the description below for links to find him all across the internet, everything you could possibly need. Thank you to Cameron for supporting me by sponsoring this video. I'd appreciate you checking his videos out too. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to the last episode of Face Chase 2 Behind the Scenes. This is episode 3 and this time I've got a bit more about the end, the last bits of the narrative of the story and what we did in terms of that kind of stuff and then I've also got some information for you about special effects. I'm going to talk to you about that at the end. But so first of all, after we did all the interrogation scenes and that kind of thing, we then went to Dickens World and did some cool scenes over there. So at Dickens World, we used their car park. In return for that, I did some shooting for them. I did some filming of their events that were going on. And they let me use their car park. So we spent a day with my friend Kitty, who's amazing and such a great actress. And so me, her and Funny Ninja Dog spent a day up in their car park and we ran into like a few kind of interesting things that were going on, like some motorbikers went past and that kind of thing. But more about that on Fun and Ninja Dog's channel, go check out his behind the scenes, because he's got all of that on his vlogs on his channel. But so, uh, while we were there, we shot in the lift, which is an interesting scene to try and shoot, because I didn't realise how small the lifts were, I guess I should have thought about it. But when we got in there, I was cramped with the microphone attached to my t-shirt, I put it in there, just so that I could hold it there while I held the camera, and make sure I had both of them in shot, which was really hard, especially because there was a mirror inside the actual um, lift, so I had to make sure that the mirror couldn't be seen, because you'd see me looking through the camera at the mirror, so I had to keep it out of the way and shoot it just on the wall that was spare uh, of the lift. So that was an interesting scene to shoot. Uh, then when it came up to the roof scene, it was actually a really cold day, it was in January, and so the roof scene was actually the hottest one, believe it or not, because uh, in, inside the actual kind of complex, it was really cold and me and Fallen Ninja Dog who were in our suits were just freezing and Kitty had a coat on, so she wasn't as bad, but I'm sure she was cold too. So then when we got up onto the roof, me and Fallen Ninja Dog uh, warmed up a bit and so did Kitty. If you have seen it, you know that there's like a scene going on where I jump off the building and you see kind of the explosion behind me. Now that was done with green screen on the day. Problem was we were using red mats as green screen because it's all I had with me. And so when it came to doing the behind the scenes and when it came to doing this shot, this explosion, I green screened out my face because technically the light made it look like my face was a bit red. So the colors conflicts and then we went flying off the edge. So it looked a bit weird, but um, so I changed the color correction a bit when it came to it and made it look a bit more natural as you'll see now. It's still not completely right, I'm still a bit blue in the shot, but uh, it's better than it would have been otherwise. So hopefully you like that shot. Then obviously Catbox Films is the person that did, that did that awesome shot for me of the uh, building actually exploding. That is the actual building. Some people may think I just chose a random building online or on YouTube before that would do. That's the actual building. I sent them a picture and said, make this explode. And that's what we came up with. Now it's time for some behind the scenes from that. I told you, you should have listened. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And... <laughs> oh dear. Your legs in the way. <laughs> oh, I can see it was your butt in the way of the camera. Sorry, I need this. Uh, I'm too much. <laughs> Ding dong. Jeez. Yeah. Can you give me some? Yeah. No! <laughs> Are you recording? <laughs> Is that okay? Hold that. Is that okay? Okay. You should be able to see my face now. No, you can't see. Face. No, no. <laughs> Action. Oh dear. 
Well, I can actually see your head. You can see me at all. You can see your head. Hello. You know what happened to me earlier? No, I don't. This guy, he came up to me and he took my broom he did oh, when I was cleaning the car park. Why'd you get that? You know what I am gonna call my manager in here? Hello? I'm that. You know what happened to me earlier? No. This guy, he came up to me, looked just like you, and, wow. and he gave me back, you know. So I, I think he is a party, you know. So now you've seen some behind the scenes from that shot, from the Dickens World stuff, and now to talk to you about the final scene of the movie. That's where me and Final Ninja Dog uh, went to film, we were like six hours away, I think it was, and uh, we went to film on the top of some cliffs down at, at a beach. And so that was meant to be the runaway scene. That was an interesting scene to shoot because it was really windy. And actually, the, we found the perfect place to film right on the edge of the cliff. And I was going to sit there and film, and there was dog poo, and it was smelly and it was horrible. So we actually had to move our location from here to like just around the corner a bit to make it a bit more realistic. So and also because I couldn't have sat there for ten minutes shooting it with my dying around the diary because it was disgusting. But uh, also interesting about that scene, when I fall down the cliff, get a rock thrown at me, whatever happens, hint, hint, you will never find out unless we do a base chase free. Uh, but so we then had to walk all the way round down to the beach and I had to lay down in the mud. And so we didn't realise how dirty it was down there until I got up and we saw my back. And then I had to walk all the way back along the beach, dressed in a suit with mud all up it. I wonder what people were thinking. Anyway, lots of behind the scenes from that on Fun and Ninja Dog's channel. I don't have very much behind the scenes from that because we did vlogs for him, during which I slipped over in the mud, which was quite interesting. But so, uh, I don't have any behind the scenes of that really, so uh, I'll just kind of go on to the next feature. Now just before I finish this behind the scenes, the last episode of Base Chase 2 behind the scenes, I would just like to talk to you about one last thing, and that's the special effects. So I got loads of people involved with the special effects this time around. Uh, last time I did it all myself from effects sent to me by Youngy199, whose new channel Tay Youngy. Uh, he kind of supplied them to me and I did it all myself. This time around, I enlisted the help of someone that actually knows what they're doing. That was in the form of Liam. Now if you want to go and check out his channel, he's got Sergeant Cupcake and Apocalypse Studios and some other things going on. But so go check them out and I'm sure he'll give you more information. He did the Worcester scene where you see the guns. That was all his doing. Then Catbox Films was the person that did that awesome effect, as I said already, where Dickens World building and it exploded. He did an amazing job and it was so nice of him to help me out. And so thank you to him, go check out his channel too. And then the last person that helped me out and did the intro video was Bram. Now he did an awesome job on his uh, with his effects. He made it look like it was a proper intro and I just in this I just put a trailer in the background from Base Chase One. So that was the premise behind that. You had his intro in the front, and then you had shots from last time in the background. But so the effects were an important thing for an Asian movie, but obviously me and Fun and Ninja Dog aren't big on effects, so that we tried to take the movie a bit out of our comfort zone, which is why we did the uh, fighting in the Dickens World car park, because usually we wouldn't have done that kind of stuff. So uh, we, we gave that a go, we had mats on the floor, and Kitty was filming while Jake was shoving over or I'd kick him or whatever, and then we did sound effects for that afterwards. But um, when it came to actually doing the uh, effects and that kind of thing, that was the one thing that people said from movie one that they were a bit unfond of, which I can understand. They, they didn't like the fact that the effects were okay, but some of them looked really awful. And I do put my hands up and say, I'm not a special effects VFX person. I've got no clue what I'm doing. And I gave it a go. And this time around, I wanted to get someone that actually knew what they were doing to have a go, which is exactly what I did. So I hope you enjoyed the movie, we'll come to the end of the behind the scenes, if you've got any questions leave them below and I will answer them in Ask the Team in some time in the next few weeks or in the next few months. Uh, thank you for watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe up there and uh, I look forward to seeing you all in a new project coming soon. If you've got any ideas of what you'd like to see me do next, because I've done Shit Man Chronicles, three episodes. Uh, I've done the Base Chase 2 two episodes. If you've got any ideas of what you'd like to see me do next, let me know in the comments below and we'll talk about it and see what we can come to terms with. I've already got some ideas of what we'll be doing next after Base Chase 2, but I'm always welcome to listen to your ideas. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye and thank you.